Do you play role-playing games? Are you a player who always strives to be simply the best, better than all the rest? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to share with you some of my top tips to help you develop as a player. My name's Inwills and welcome to the In Crowd. So since starting to play RPGs at the age of 14, which was in mm, 1980, probably before any of you were actually born, I have definitely DM'd or GM'd more than I've actually played. And during this time as being a dungeon master or game master, I have come across a range of players and playing styles. Now, some of these players and playing styles have been really good, and some of them have been, well, shall I just say, unorthodox. But it's allowed me to put together some characteristics, some attributes of what I consider um, not only to be a good player, but actually to be an outstanding player. So in this series of videos, I'm going to be delving into those characteristics and sharing them with you to support you on your journey from your current level of playing, being a player in fantasy role playing games or science fiction or horror to being perhaps simply the best you possibly can be. Now I know that some of you are well on this journey but feel free to share my advice with other people in your group that might find it helpful. As always if you enjoy this video or any of the videos on my channel then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing to it. Not only will you be supporting my channel but you will also be supporting my dream. And don't forget to press that bell button so you will get an instant notification the next time I go live or when I upload my next video. Okay, let's get down to it. Get those notebooks out, get those keys ready to be typed on. Here we go. So in order to get a really good understanding of a session or a campaign, it's really important that you as a player, just like the GM, engages with the storyline or the plot line. And one of the best ways to do this is to continually engage with it, both within the session, but also in between sessions. And to help you facilitate this, one of the best pieces of, of advice I can give to you is take notes. Now, being able to engage with background or storylines really makes you a, a player that not only knows your character but also knows the world in which you are adventuring and the people that you engage with or interact with whether or not that be in the massive town um, of the campaign or in a tiny little hamlet but also the monsters that you engage with um, whether or not that be deep underground or on the top of the highest peak. So the first thing I would say to you when you're taking your notes is try to get organized. So there's some organization with um, what happened and where you are keeping the notes. Now I tend to um, do this via opening a Word document or Google Doc um, at the start of every adventure and then putting in the time and the date of the campaign and this real life session and then making notes underneath this. This keeps me organized as I'm, I'm going through. When I'm DMing or GMing, I also use a program called Realmworks, which I'll make a video about um, at some other time. So there you are, the campaign, the adventure session is well underway and you're there poised, hovering over those keys, ready to take notes. So what should you take notes on? Well, I've got three suggestions to get you going. So first up, important names. Try to write down the places you go, the people you encounter, and even the monsters that you attack or fight, or in the case of Mithras, avoid. It's also worth jotting down not only their names, but their defining characteristics. 
What was the town like? What was the NPC like? How did the monster attack? Was it intelligent? Did it run away at the first sign of, of danger? There's nothing better than um, actually mentioning NPCs' names in future adventures. And when you can go back and revisit them, it also helps me as a DM um, if you can remind me what they are called um, because as you can imagine we have as GMs have loads of information round rolling around in our um, my, my boundless memory the other thing that I would be really concentrating on jotting down is how you interact. How did you um, enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it with a player? How could this person, town or place actually help you in the future? Now, the second thing I would suggest that you write down are what I call actions and consequences. And these are not sort of like three separate areas within your notes. You would be writing down actions and consequences almost like in every sort of like encounter that yeah, and occurs if they're going to be important. So you might be um, within a town and in there you would write down what your actions were, what the party actions might have been, what the consequences consequences of this were. So maybe your your characters or your party reacted badly to a person or an NPC reacted badly to you. Did you manage to complex matters for part for the party or did you save somebody's life? You know, in our game there's lots of things that happen in the downtime or in between combat. The game that we play Mithras is more of a role playing game with less of an emphasis on combat mainly because it's so um, d dangerous but the important thing is that characters still interact they have jotted down how they engage with the wonderful cartographer Sylvester McCoon and the current romantic encounters with Bartleby and Briar and um, Hengis and Ike McDuff and players are probably jotting these down all the time and they can then recall those memories and almost like relive them um, or talk about them to new characters or new players and new um, encounters. And it gives me the feeling as a GM that the players are actually living in the campaign world as well as myself living in there in between adventures. And it helps to link all the sessions together. And the third thing I would suggest that you make notes about are questions and developments. These are things that I notice great players do. And when there's an encounter or plot line twist or they meet somebody or meet something, they tend to jot down questions that they will ask themselves in between the gaming sessions or even questions that they'll ask me and want to find out answers next time they're back in Lindo, which is our main um, town in the Odess campaign. But they're also not only writing down questions, but they're also writing down how they feel that their character is developing. And remember, this is so important um, as a player to think about how your character is developing, what is changing. And rather than having um, a whole load of different ones, uh, different tracks that you're going off in, try to focus on just a few and relate each of the campaign um, encounters or sessions to that development. Make notes about it and sort of like put question marks and then share these with your um, GM or DM. And this allows them to sort of like feed your ideas back into the campaign. It's something that I love to do. And often I hear questions coming from uh, my players that I think, oh, that's a really interesting question. Let's make something out of that. So if a player is making notes, um, both within gaming sessions and in between, then it allows them to keep involved and connected 
to the campaign world and the people and the encounters and places that are happening in there. It me also means that before the next se session, you can actually reread your notes and get an inkling about what's actually going on and remind yourself how your character reacted, especially if you're playing in multiple campaigns across different streams or across um, different tabletops. These notes help you almost like get back into character and sort of like remind yourselves what's actually happening in the world. These actually then really help me as a DM or a GM and I really consider um, players who have these notes who can remind themselves about their characters really absolutely outstanding players for myself to DM for. I hope this has provided you with some ideas to help you along with your on your journey to being a great player. And if you already take notes and rec you record it in some way that I have not mentioned here, then please let me know by adding your suggestions down in the comments below. It's always great to hear from you and hear your ideas so I can share them to other people who are watching. So. Until next time, I would say to each and every one of you, please have fun and I'll catch you all later. And until then, happy role playing. See you later.